by Hans Niemann, who has made a great effort in the Charity Cup. Unfortunately, it, is, uh, it ends here. But uh, Hans Niemann, how do you feel about your performance? Well, yeah, it's just uh, it collapsed a bit at the end. But um, the first two games, uh, this the second game, I, I definitely should not have lost uh, with a, a little bit of precision um, in that end game before uh, I lost the C5 pawn, it probably would have led to just a, a repetition. Um, so I, I, I don't. I think this third game was just um, a bit of uh, tilt, and um, it's it's very difficult to, to to play Magnus in a match, especially when you're down a game. So perhaps that uh, negatively affected my psychology. But um, I think. I played very fighting chess, and uh, I wanted to just uh, play. I wasn't trying to, like, you know, just make draws or, or uh, I wanted to fight. And uh, I guess I got two very fighting games where um, um, both were very interesting, but, um, again, couldn't really keep uh, uh, my, let's say, focus together, maybe. Mm. And uh, do you feel big disappointment right now, or do you also feel some sort of Pride. We talked about yesterday how far you've come with your chess over the past year. Ah, uh, yeah. I think whatever you lose, there's definitely going to be disappointment. Uh, I, I don't think you can avoid that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, obviously, losing to Magnus is not as painful as it uh, would be to lose to anyone else. Um, but uh, I think I'm very happy to um, show some good chess and. Uh, I think uh, I would just look at this as a reflection of, of uh, my potential as a player and uh, I was able to play some very good and interesting chess throughout the event. So, um, you know, there's some disappointment, but again, uh, I have a long journey ahead in chess, so uh, I should not I should not be too disappointed and uh, just be optimistic about uh, my, my, my future uh, games. Definitely. And well, with the progress you made now in over um, only the past year, where will you be in one year? What should we expect? Uh, I think at least 2,700. I can uh, make that assurance. Uh, uh, I think that's it. If I don't achieve that in the next year, you know, I should be quitting chess, I think. Hmm. Now, in game two, with the white pieces, we were crossing our fingers to see the Joe Bava London you tried and then Magnus denied it. I think actually we see her reaction here. What were you thinking when, ah, Magnus didn't allow you to play it? Well, it's, yeah, technically I still could have played it, but it's sort of like the, I don't know, not the counter to it, but uh, I was actually still tempted to play in the knight c3, but when he played e6, I got the feeling that he was going to do some something weird something a little bit, not a little slightly dubious. Uh, so I felt that maybe he would go for like the Dutch as he did uh, or something not, let's say, so directly challenging. So I said, okay, I won't play the Jababa because it seems like he's ready to take some risk. And he did play, take some risk with his opening. Um, and uh, I got an opening you know, advantage, but of course it's, it's a very complex, intense position. Uh, but, uh, you know, the thing is that I, I was undefeated with the Jabava London in this tournament. Uh, I should note that. I think that's the most important thing, that I won every game that I played with it. And uh, I'm very excited for it to be released tomorrow. It is to be released tomorrow. So, Hans, thank you for your very entertaining play in the Charity Cup. And we're definitely looking forward to the course coming out tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Thanks for joining us, Hans.